I filed a police report. I have the address. So part of visiting our little foster child in the hospital has been after Elijah goes to sleep at night. Many, many nights, not every night, but many times over the last couple of weeks, um, we'll have a friend sit at the house and Elijah's just asleep. And then Peter and I will go to the hospital. And what am I saying? I feel like I had something to say. Maybe I'm saying this is the last time. Oh yeah. So. Hopefully. We, uh, said, we said that a few minutes ago. Yeah. So as long as everything is stable and everyone is stable, we will be bringing our sweet little baby home tomorrow. So. Last night, driving home from the hospital late and tonight we're stopping and I'm gonna get some McDonald's because I didn't really get to eat. Just how the timing worked. Although I will say, I ate some crackers. I was gonna go get some more crackers. There were no more crackers. So then I was like, <laughs> maybe I'll stop and get something on the way home. <laughs> I felt like there was something I was gonna say. A hospital on the way home last time. Maybe that was it. Like last night. Last night. Last drive home. Late yeah. night. And it actually works out because that last time that we thought we were being discharged, I you basically have to be in the hospital. I don't know if it's just for where this little one is at in the hospital or if it's the whole hospital, but you have to be in by nine. And basically like Peter was at a meeting and by the time the meeting ended and then he was gonna come, I don't know, it was like by the time we were both gonna get to the hospital, it would be after nine. And so it ended up just Peter went to the hospital that night and I was like kind of sad, just like I didn't get to go on the last night, but it, Unfortunately, it wasn't the last night, but now we both got to go and we made gifts for their for the nurses and so I've been handing those out yesterday and today and um, yeah, it's going to be a momentous occasion. What did we say once? Like a momentous moment or something? <sighs> Tomorrow's the day, hopefully. I know, they said don't say it, don't talk about it, don't jinx it, but Peter and I have learned that sometimes the timing doesn't work out like you thought or like you wanted, but then it doesn't mean life stops, it just means the story is still going a little different than you thought. So I'm going to say it. Hopefully, tomorrow, we're bringing baby home. Yeah. And if, by chance, that's not how it works out, then one small benefit is that we'll continue building friendships with those around us, which mm. has been a sweet yeah. side effect of being there. I don't know if that's the right word. Yeah. It's been a sweet blessing. Okay, so... Oh, I do have to say something. We're driving okay. by the location. So my backpack was stolen. We had left the hospital. We went to the grocery store because we were out of milk. You know, like desperate times when you have a little one in the hospital. It's like a quick, quick little run oh, into the grocery store. So quick because we were getting back to Elijah. Somebody was with Elijah. We we're like, we're going to run through the grocery store get milk and fruit and bread. Okay, let's do it. And I guess our doors didn't lock when we went. I don't know. My bag was stolen. And it had my headphones, which the headphones give a location. So when we realized it the next morning, I was like getting ready to go to the hospital. And I was like, babe, do you know where my bag is? He was already at work. Do you know where my bag is? 
no. And I was just like, oh, I have to go. Were well, there any baby clothes in there? I was trying to remember that. Because it's like her diaper bag. Yeah. Um, I, there could have been, it could have been the, the tree one in there. But I don't remember. But it had one, like, Visa card or whatever in there. But not my whole wallet and not my license because I use it every single day, multiple times a day to get into the hospital. And so I keep it in my phone now. I'm and so glad that your license wasn't in there. I think the biggest bummer is the bag itself. Yeah, so the bag was a gift from Better Life Bags. Incredible company that employs women who have barriers to uh, employment. employment. They are actually, they're, I don't want to call it going out of business. They're closing that chapter. And it was an absolute incredible business. And I'm so thankful to be able to follow that business, meaning like follow them for the last many, many years. But that gift, that bag was a gift from the company, from the owner. And it's, well, it was very special. Yeah. yeah. So, and it, so it was like given to us for Elijah's diaper bag. And now I've used it to go to the hospital every single day. And now somebody took it, but the, so I, I interrupted. Did you say we were passing the spot where the AirPods ping? Basically, they took the bag, and then that's like what? Not even a mile from where they took the bag. Yeah. And oh, like half a mile. Yeah, and the AirPods pinged the next morning at seven a.m. Now. And they used the credit card at the gas station. Yes, which actually is it that one? Uh, is it that gas station? No, I it's think that's probably a, that's an Exxon. it was probably the Circle K where I had explosive diarrhea that first time we came into town. Yeah, I just remember driving into Durham like, Peter, find a bathroom. But, <coughs> anyway, I filed a. I finally got enough brain cells together. I mean, I've just been like my brain has been everywhere the last couple weeks, but um, the last couple days in particular. I filed a police report. I have the address, but we don't feel. Well, and it's like a motel. I mean, it might have just been like a. Might have been in and out. Yeah. But I think a little bit, I'm not that torn up about it because things get put into perspective, right? Yeah. You have two sweet little children in your care. And one is still in the hospital, and two children, meaning Elijah and the, the new little foster child. Um, it just doesn't matter. Yeah. It's a bummer, and it's sad, but it doesn't matter. And it could have been a lot worse, including how today Elijah's nurse told me in the Walmart parking lot, somebody opened her door with a knife and stole her purse and I was just like oh. oh and I was like eight years ago or something just how scary and it wasn't a scary experience we didn't even know it happened till the next morning yeah yeah oh bummer but Oh, the other blessing with it was that it was your card and not my card because we use my card for all of our subscription kind of things. <gasps> and so, like, canceling a credit card is usually a lot of hassle. Oh, my goodness. But, I like, didn't know. we don't have any subscriptions on your card. Oh, my goodness. So That's it's not incredible. A big, not a big deal to replace the card number. All right. We're in line at McDonald's. I got to decide what to eat. And as always, we'll see ya. Next time. Oh my goodness, are we bringing them home? Ah!